first of all uh, welcome in my channel and uh, today i'm going to tell you about my membership plan first of all uh, i will provide you dotnet core video tutorial dapper tutorial rest rest api tutorial angular uh, angular video tutorial uh, not only video tutorial i will uh, provide you complete source code okay and it's not only a simple video tutorial it's a project based video tutorial so each technology have minimum two projects so guys this is a project based courses in all technologies just 800 rupees and you focus that it's not only a technology it's a roadmap okay so that is the complete roadmap of dotnet core and that video tutorial is providing you a past deal for you okay so first of all i will provide you dotnet core and uh, video tutorial it's not only based uh, it's not only simple video tutorial again i repeat you a uh, project based video tutorial so i will cover it uh, all design patterns and uh, solid patterns and uh, architectural designs okay so uh, i will give you uh, clean architecture based projects okay so uh, that is dotnet core and uh, that .NET core used entity framework core and sql server in further video i will use adio.net and the dapper and uh, just after that i will use blazor for as a front end and angular as a front end and the react as a front end uh, so use rest api so it's a based on project uh, okay and it's a roadmap so that we can cover all the topics of the full stack development so this is only 800 rupees i will uh, you will uh, you just pay me 800 rupees and get all video tutorials okay so uh, day by day and uh, if you are belong from other country just pay a dollar 15 and it's only a one time fees that is again i repeat you one time fees just only pay 800 rupees and get the source code and uh, complete video tutorials okay so how to get the deal just fill this form that is your name your email id your contact number contact number is not necessary transaction reference id order id or paypal id if you are belong from india just pay using upi id and uh, just add your transaction reference id uh, and after that uh, if you are belong from other country just use this my uh, paypal id and this is you can use this qr code also okay and submit the form after submit your form you will get a notification uh, via email and uh, start your uh, journey for the membership okay so uh, just find the link of this form in your video description box so must to check your okay so continue in the part two uh, that is uh, cms or you can say that it's a blog project in angular with the restful api and here is my api you know that is my api where we have my web api and under the my web api we have a categories controller images controller post controller and all okay uh, that is the data part so uh, just after that after a few minutes we will discuss how to create a web api and just after how to consume it in the uh, blog project okay so just get in, get uh, get started so uh, this is my you know this is my running api and this is my current output of this uh, angular project and the, under the cms uh, drop down we have a categories so that these are the category list uh, which will show uh, under the id name and the actions so wait for some time it will uh, get from the api like that and i want to go for add a new category so it's well perfect and uh, just I, I want to go for the post so here we have a post these are the post actually and if you want to create a new post just click on the new post and uh, if you want to put it uh, select images like that so you can just put it use images okay so that is the blog post and uh, if you want to add a blog post and uh, and any other things you can do it so how to uh, create a, you know um, categories and the post uh, here so the first one uh, i want to discuss with the api and that is my api that is uh, application db context class and that class is responsible to uh, create a connection uh, with the database table so uh, or the database like uh, 
you know um, SQL Server database. So that is my application DB context class. A categories, post, images, and all. And here we have three models like category model, post model, and image model. So that is the model class here. Okay, that is the categories, uh, post, and the images. Now uh, the next one is the repository part. Okay, so what about the repository? And uh, these that these are the repository, i category repository, i image repo, i post repo, and i utility repo. Utility repo, I meant to say that save images. So under the i category repo, we have the CRUD operations. I image repo, we have save image and get images. And I post repo have uh, CRUD operations. And I utility repo have save images. Okay. So uh, just after the repository, you uh, you can see the implementation parts. Okay. And that is my API. So first of all, I want to discuss about the categories controller. So these are my CRUD operations on category. So here we have a get all categories like that category DTO. Uh, I want to uh, send to the as a response. Okay. So just return it I action result with the category list category DTO. And the next one is a post categories with the I action result. That one and uh, get category by ID. So category report dot get by ID ID property get category and just send back to the category to the DTO part. The next one is the delete category and delete category. I mean to say that uh, delete the category and response back to the OK. And the next one is the put category. So here we have a put category. So that one is uh, good. Now the next next part is the post controller. And here we have a post controller create post get all post put post and delete post. So I want to first get all post. So here we have a get post from the repository and you know uh, post DTO uh, is used to add into the list. So here we have you know get all post with their ID title short description description publish date post URL image URL author is visible and categories. Similarly we have a post put uh, put post uh, that is uh, you know existing category to remove category okay so these are the uh, categories and the next one is to delete post like that so another one is images controller so here we have a upload image and here we have a URL the title okay and get all images like that okay so just after that I want to consume it in the um, you know um, in angular so first of all, I close all the parts first. Now, this is the latest version of Angular, you know. So first of all, I want to tell you about uh, that one is the category controller, category, uh, you know, uh, component. First of all, I want to talk about the categories. So here we have a add category component, category list component and edit category. Edit category is actually based on the dynamic, uh, you know, data like uh, uh, based on the ID. So uh, I want to uh, based on the edit section, we just update our table. So here we have a update app dash routing dot module dot ts file here. So uh, under the app dot route dot module dot ts, we we have the parts of the data like empty. We have the home index component categories like a category list component category slash add. This is the dynamic data. Just call it edit category component okay now uh, under the first of all just I want to show the all categories so here we have a category list so under the category list we have a HTML page as well as the uh, uh, TypeScript page so the first one is to design the HTML page so here we have a simple demonstration of your uh, HTML uh, with the bootstrap so category list and you know add new category and uh, that one is ng if category list dollar sign with the asynchronous pipe that is uh, category list and here we have a table and table striped id name and action and all these categories are under the category list so here we have a category list with their button delete and edit 
okay now in the category list dot component dot ts we have a delete category add load categories and on in it so first of all i want to talk about the load categories so load categories i mean to say that just call the service that's uh, like that category service dot categories so um, category service dot categories so what is the categories is so i want to call it uh, a uh, service like that so i want to call category service dot ts file so under the category service dot ts we have a load initialized data under the constructor so i should be called load initialized data load initialized data is fetch all the categories like category dto and uh, to subscribe with the data and so just response back to the data data is passed to the category subjects category subject is was what is a behavior subject so here we have a behavior subject but it uh, read from your uh, you know observable type so just convert it category list uh, category subject to the as observable so and just read up uh, this category uh, to here so this dot category service dot category is dollar sign okay now just here we have a get all method to get all the categories so you can use this method also here instead of this initial loading data okay so after if you want to delete this uh, delete category so you can use it this dot category service dot delete by id by the id subscribe if you subscribe this you can just go for the subscription so here we have a delete category subscription like that so the next part is load categories after delete the category you can just load categories again okay and ng on destroy so here we have a delete category subscription dot unsubscribe the data okay okay so if you want to uh, just go for uh, this one is if category service dot category by uh, category dollar sign it's a uh, you know behavior subject so you just go let get all method also so there is a no issue for the load categories okay so save this now in the category service just remove the part uh, that is the load initial data so here we have a load initial data and just i want to comment this one okay so also this one and here we have just uh, it's a temporary part so there is a no issue just save this now after that you can see this is the similar thing you can you can uh, add with the category list okay so if you want to delete this part it's a uh, breakpoint here and click to continue and here we go so just go for the visual studio again and disable all breakpoints delete all breakpoints okay and now i want to delete this category also okay now i just after that i want to go for the post and this is the delete part and if you want to edit this category like electronics to electronic and just click to save there we go and just go for the post category and here we have a post and i want to delete these posts post here so i want to add the delete part here the action method that is delete and edit okay so uh, this is actually cover in the next video okay so uh, in this video actually cover the add a new post here so add a new post here we have a list of categories like fashion health category and electronic category so it is is visible and published is like that and here we have a image url and i just i want to pick the image from there so here we have a old angular and uh, you know newer angular so this is the image uh, you know path of the image that image is actually saved in a database in api and uh, here we have a simple uh, title description and description post url author published date is visible and these are the categories okay so that is the beautiful part here and you can do it by the code so i will give you the complete code just after finish my project and uh, you know uh, why uh, i will give you free of cost uh, the complete video tutorial uh, in my membership so must to join my membership and if you want to get uh, the code of the whole project okay 